Hello everyone, we are going to do a graph theory proof today. Uh, if this looks familiar, that's because yes, this is a remake of a video I made previously. There were some quality issues with it and I just kind of wanted to take another swing at it. So what we've got here, we have a, uh, a graph G, it's a connected graph of size N. Some context for this problem, we have two nodes S and T in G such that the distance between those two nodes is strictly greater than N over 2. We're trying to prove that there exists some node V such that it destroys all ST paths if we delete it. And uh, we are also stipulating that V, the node we can delete, is not equal to S or T because, you know, obviously if you want to destroy an ST path, you can just delete S or T. Uh, we're kind of saying, no, that's not an option. It has to be some other node. We're going to prove this using a, uh, a BFS, uh, a breadth first search. And the way that that works is basically we start from our node S and we kind of go outwards, kind of defining layers. And what these layers represent are all the nodes reachable by this many edges from S. So from S, by one edge, we can reach all the nodes in L1. Uh, via two edges, we can reach all the nodes in uh, you know L2 until we get to T. And um, well, one other helpful thing we're going to do is we're going to define D. What D is going to be is the minimum distance from S to T. And uh, that obviously means D is going to be n over 2 plus 1 because we have to be strictly greater than n over 2. So again, this is just the minimum distance the minimum distance from s to t. This isn't the actual distance because, you know, we, we don't know that. We don't know that from this problem description. So here's our proof. It's going to be a very informal proof, but it's going to kind of get the point across. So we have s in our first layer, l naught. These are all the nodes reachable uh, from s by one edge. All the nodes are reachable from s by two edges, and so on until we get to uh, LD minus one, which will be a distance of N over two, because again, D is N over two plus one, D minus one, N over two. So this is everything we, this is kind of our required dead space between S and T. And then again, we aren't really sure how far T actually is from S, but it's certainly further than this by at least one edge. And that's going to be, you know, LT is the layer containing T. So what we do now is we say, well, is there any layer for which there is a node that is the only node in that layer? Uh, because if, if there is a layer where there's only one node in that layer, that means if we delete that node, we have destroyed our path from S to T, which is what we're trying to prove we can do. We're trying to prove there exists some node V such that it destroys all ST paths if deleted. Now, if we look here, we are covering our distance N over two, so our, our kind of minimum distance minus that final edge. Uh, and again, we don't know exactly how many more edges, but it has to be at least one more than this. And uh, that is N over two. So what we're gonna say is what if all of these layers have two nodes in them. That would disprove our our our, uh, our thing we're trying to prove. Um, so let's see what happens if we do that. Let's just say, okay, there are exactly two nodes in every layer. That's the bare minimum requirement to disprove this. And that gives us n. Now, if you're if you're looking carefully, you'll see. Well, we haven't even accounted for t, and we haven't accounted for s. So that's impossible because n is the entire size of our graph. You can't have that many nodes in these layers without adding two to the size of your graph, which breaks our definition of G. So this is this right here is impossible. That means there is at least at least one layer that only has one node in it, and let's just let's just say that it's it's this layer, uh, LD minus one. We don't know that it is, but just for the sake of simplicity, let's say uh, V is the only node. in LD minus one. Um, 
So if, and again, it doesn't have to be this layer, that's just what we're saying uh, for the purposes of simplicity. It could be any layer from L1 to LD minus one. And uh, this is our node such that deleting it deletes our path from S to T. So again, just to summarize, we're trying to prove there's some node V such that deleting it destroys all ST paths. And uh, we, we showed that by saying, well, if you conduct a breadth first search from S to T, you're gonna have to cover at least one more than N over two um, layers, right? Because S and T have to be separated by at least D, which is N over two plus one. And then if you have two nodes in each of those N over two layers, that would break our definition of our graph. So there has to be some layer with only one node in it. And if you delete that node, you have destroyed your ST path um, and in fact, you've destroyed all ST paths.